Let's read Psalm what? 94. 94. You can read, Mama. Verse 11. Yes. It reads, The Lord knows the thoughts of men that they are futile. Blessed is the man whom you instruct, O Lord, and teach out of, the, of your law, that you may give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit is dug for the wicked. 14. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment will return to righteousness, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I was reading this psalm. And, uh, I found a very interesting story. On verse 11. It says, the Lord knows the thoughts of men that they are futile. I wish But you know, when you read 12, that's where you understand that we have to deal with our thoughts. Can you just write, clear your thoughts? That's what I want to talk about. Just clear your thoughts. Because there are many things we hear that enters the mind reality. But we need to know what is the best. That's, that's, why, that's why the Bible says that's why Bible re, whatever that is true, we must meditate about. So, listen to this. There's a time time of adversity. There's a time where you will be checked that you are not developed the wrong thoughts. And for you to have clear thoughts, you must be instructed from God. There will be a time where, you know, your adversaries will be coming to you in great power. But if you are instructed, you will be calmed in the time of adversity. Because we need to know what is thoughts. If you can read the Bible, you realize that the thoughts, they become voices of the heart. When, when you... you you have got a thought, it's a voice from your spirit. And now, if now you have wrong thoughts, it no, means no, your, your, heart, your heart or your spirit is wrong. I've been learning this, I realized that many of us, we are focusing on, on this big scene and we run away from that. But we are not dealing with our thoughts. I was learning from Acts 5. If you read from verse 1 to 4, from verse 1 to 4, you will see that Ananias and Sapphira were true. They were supposed to be praised by men. But what has entered them, which Peter said, why you conceive this in your heart? To stand together to lie to the Holy Spirit. This has brought destruction on you. You could see that people were supposed to have encouraged them. But God was not happy with them. There are many things that are happening in the church that you can people not aware. 
If really Peter could not speak and see beyond their thoughts, they were supposed to be praised and congratulated by the brothers in Christ that they are supporting in the church. Like what Barnabas did. The, the moment when he brought the money, Peter could see the thoughts. Petro Hono Bona Mihopolo. You could hear the voices in their spirit contrary to what they were doing. Ah, Fapanang Limiti Royamato. Listen to them, you must be very careful of thoughts. Cheleta Kotokomele Kudukudumina Mihopolo. I mean, outside here, our appearance here, we are praying too much. But we are thoughts are contrary to our prayers. That's where you find the Bible says they are not with their mouths, but their hearts are far away from, from me. We need to deal with our thoughts because, because there are voices from our hearts. Even when you are quiet, you might be speaking. Even when your mouth is shut, the bell can still claim what you are saying for your heart. You can be praised like other people have been praised. But know that God is aware of our thoughts. In Matthew 5 verse 28, you could see Jesus say, if you look at a woman with lust. Already you have committed oh, an agree with her. In other words, our thoughts create real actions. Tell your thoughts bring forth real actions. How can you just look at a woman and you begin to think she's beautiful? Many times we don't know that there are things around that are trying to make us to take wrong actions. There are people that devil will bring to tempt you so that you defile yourself. But the time when you want to pray, you find it's difficult to pray. I, th I think what is not yours, don't entertain it. Tell me what is not yours, don't entertain it. Because at the end of the day, you will speak what is not. Jesus was saying the same. So when you look at a woman and you carry on looking, already the action has happened in the heart. In other words, what you see people doing outside, some of, many of them have been conceived from the heart. Let's say all those things have been conceived in the heart. For you to wear the way you are. It is coming from your spirit. It's coming from your heart. So, the, the moment you say you wear like that, like, you are judged by the intent of the reasons why you wear that way. There's no problem with wearing. But the, the, the problem is what is what was the impression? What is your actions? What is your actions? If you are doing actions, no one can question you. Because you can still justify them. But behind those there are thoughts. What is the reason why you are doing like that? I don't know if you are hearing me. Ask somebody to say, hey, the way you behave, the way you, behave, the way you live, you have got a, a reason 
to tell God one day. God will judge the thoughts. He won't judge the action you committed. Because God looks at the thoughts. Tell neighbor, God looks at the thoughts. Jesus said, you have already committed adultery where? In the heart. Let's read another scripture. It will help us. If you read Matthew 12. 24 to 28. 24 to 28. Let's read that verse. Matthew 12. 24 to 28. Tell your neighbor clear your thoughts. Stop thinking wrong. Stop thinking against other people. Remove wrong things from your mind. From your spirit. Read verse 24. It says what? Now when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out demons except by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to dissolution. And every city or house divided against itself will not stand. If certain cast out certain, he is divided against himself. Listen to now, this. Stop there, Mama. If you can read there, you, you realize that these people were talking to each other. And Jesus look at their thoughts. They had conclusion. They come to their own conclusion that this man is using Belzebub. They were not telling Jesus. But Jesus addressed thoughts. That's what I'm saying. Listen to this. Some of us, we cannot be blessed. Or we cannot get enough revelations. Because our thoughts are not right. We need to deal with our thoughts too. Can you just tell you, deal with your thoughts. Sometimes God cannot bless you because he, he still wants to address your thoughts. These are the people who get their own interpretation out of what Jesus was doing. Still Jesus spoke the, the, their mind. And he said, it's not that. If Satan casts out Satan, Satan, that kingdom cannot stand. He was speaking with their thoughts, but if you can read there, there was no repentance. Always God is speaking so with no, our thoughts. I don't know if you are hearing me. Thoughts are so important that thoughts bring out you to a state of faith. Remember the woman who saw Jesus when she said, if I can just go there and touch the hell. It was a thought. And she came out by faith. She took it inside. And she had a thought. And nobody was there. And the moment she saw the hell, she said, that is what I was thinking. And she came by faith. And something happened. Listen to this. When your thoughts are right, your end will be right. Can you just tell anybody, when your thoughts are right, your end will be right. If your thoughts are of faith, even the faith results will come. Just tell somebody, say, hey, if your, if your thoughts are right, you will enjoy the, 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 the results. Many times we don't understand. We, 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 we love to entertain Satan. Satan is giving us something to think about. And we, we, we end up 
weary ourselves. But the time when we want to pray, we find that our spirit is, is full of wrong things. If we just clear our spirit, the scriptures will enter into something. We will be pregnant with the word, and the word will bring forth the results we need. I don't know if you're hearing me. I, I, there are some people here. The devil has been entertaining you about the state of your situation. But I'm here to tell you clear your mind. Take as if nothing happened. And see what God will do for you. That, that you can remove that depression. You can remove that mind. That devil is telling you, you won't make it. There are some people that are coming into your life to destroy you. Can you remove them and see what God can do? In your mind, by the word of God, in your spirit, put the word of God in your spirit. And you begin to speak the spirit the word of your spirit. Listen to this. If the voice from your spirit becomes the word of God is meditation. Tell your neighbor, if the voice from your spirit becomes the word of God is meditation. If it's another thing, it's a complaint. It's a sin, it's a complaint. It's a worry. You need to speak that way from your spirit and stand on it. And God of mercy will see you through. I don't know if you are hearing me. There are some situations that I wanted to tell you that sometimes God will allow some kind of things to happen for a certain reason. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can I give you an example? Sometimes we love to change things by prayers. You are in a place where God wants you to move. But you know, you don't want to move. And God knows that if you stay there, on that time, there will be a bomb that will explode. So sometimes there will be some kind of discomfort. That will happen to your life. Don't have negatives. Tell them, don't have negatives. Have a word in your spirit. Clear your, your thoughts. And begin to speak the word. And see what God will do for you. I don't know if you are hearing me. It's as good as you are searching for a job. In that, in that company. And they are denying you. And, and they are telling you a question, why? Why, 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 me? why, why me? me? If God can give you a reason, you will be shocked. Sometimes you don't need to worry about that delay. Remember, everything works for good. If you are Christian, if you are Christian, everything works for good. You don't need to put thoughts which are wrong and begin to look at yourself in a bad light. Look at yourself as a winner even when there's no results. Clear your mind. Clear your spirit. Clear your thoughts. And speak the word of God. And something will happen. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Look at this verse. Maybe it will help us. Matthew 15. From verse 18 to 20. 18 to 20. Where Jesus was saying, What defines a man our thoughts? What defines a man is what? Our thoughts. Let's read verse 18. Verse 18. Yes. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart, mm. and they defile a man. For out of the heart proceed the evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, theft, false witnesses, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashed hands, does not defile a man. Can you just speak, read the last one? To eat. But 
Ah, sorry. These are the things which defile a man. Uh -huh. But to eat with unwashed hands does not defile a man. Can you hear the Bible says what, yeah, what Bible I mean when you are, you are, you are your, your hands are dirty. You cannot be dirty. Okay, when you eat with those hands. Automatically, the dirty that is caused by thoughts is a very serious dirty. Look at yourself, you are holding cement and you, you, holding it, cement and you, and you eat. eat. You eat that dirty. Before Why God is not dead. It is a dirty that is caused by thoughts. It is a very serious dirty. That's what the scripture is saying here. Let me show you the scripture. Maybe it will help us. Can we read Isaiah 59, 7 to 8? Yes, Isaiah 59, 7 to 8. Yes. Isaiah. Yes, Isaiah. 7 to 8. 59. 7 to 8. Array. Their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their path. The way of peace they have not known. And there is no justice in their ways. You can hear the Bible says there are people like that. That they develop their wrong thoughts. They are rushing to get things that will affect their spirit. Their thoughts are wicked. Can you just read that verse again, Mama? Because it's especially verse 8. It says what? Verse the way eight. of what? The way of peace they have not known. The way of salvation they don't know. And there is no justice in their ways. You can hear that verse. It says, their thoughts are of inquity. The way of salvation. In other words, you have been given a choice. Whereby, even when you see this is wrong. You need to say it's wrong. If you have got a way of salvation, it will give you peace when there is nothing. We have got Christians here who don't have anything, but they are rejoicing. We have got Christians here who don't have money, but they are happy. But there are some people who have got money, but their thoughts are Always defiling yourself. If you read Proverbs 16, 1 to 3, 1 to 3, it says what? Whatever you work, whatever you do, you must commit them to God. And you will prosper. Just read that verse. It says what? Yes. From verse 1. The preparations of the heart belongs to men. Yes. But the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Yes. All the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes. But the Lord weighs the spirit. Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Commit your ways to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Let's read Proverbs 21 verse 5. Proverbs 21 5. Yes. I'm giving you scripture so that you deal with your thoughts. It says, Proverbs 21 verse 5. Yes. The plans of the diligent lead surely to plenty. Yes. But those of everyone who is hasty, surely to poverty. Listen to this. The scriptures here are showing us that sometimes when you look at your way, you can have wrong thoughts. Wrong of try to get what you get. I wish. After this service, you don't admire anybody. You accept yourself. Because you can still 
admire people who had wrong ways and achieve wrong things. A diligent person will always have right thoughts. I don't know if you're hearing me. And and God will prosper him that far. He's a person that will say, no, I don't want to do things if God is not involved. I want to commit my God in whatever I'm doing. We need Christians who commit God. commit their ways to God. Who just do things because Baba God said it. We can look at ourselves today. When we compare ourselves with others, Ari we can make mistakes. mistakes. Accept yourself. Remove wrong ways. Wrong thoughts. The Bible says your thoughts are not my thoughts. Begin to take the thoughts of God. Which are the ways of God. Which is the gospel of peace. If you do that, whatever you think, it will be established. You will speak something that you will see. You will be a prophet of yourself. It will start when you are dealing with wrong thoughts. Remove those wrong thoughts. Commit your way to God. And begin to check your spirit. When your thoughts are right, you will receive something. You know, I was reading Acts 8. If you can start from verse 18, you will see why Peter ended up cursing Simeon. Because the way Simeon looked at Peter when he was laying hands and people were receiving Holy Spirit. He pictured himself in the position of Peter. Not in the position of the one who's receiving. And he began to say, let me offer money. He had a way of getting the spirit in a flesh way. I don't know if you're hearing me. He wanted to get things of the spirit through flesh ways. And Peter said, go and die with your money. I can see in your heart. I can see your thoughts. I can see what you are thinking. Listen to this. Before we ask something, let's check our thoughts. Can I tell you this? It is possible that People can still yes on what we are doing. But whereas they've been cooked in a wrong way from our mind. And our thoughts are very wrong. We come to demonstrate power when we find that God is not there. I'm here to tell you from today any action you want to take that is wrong is not of God. That is not of God. You need to pray about it. 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 Check your thoughts. Are they selfish reasons? Are they selfish reasons? If they are selfish reasons, are they not from God? If they are of benefit to you only, are they not from God? I don't know if you are hearing me. But if it is of reaching out, it is from God. Let me prophesy someone who is here today. As God is clearing your thoughts, He's establishing your assignment. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. From today, you will never waste your energy by thinking what devil is doing on you. You will begin to meditate every thought that exalts itself against the word in you. You will modify it by the word of God. I'm here to tell you, as God is clearing your thoughts, and as you are clearing your thoughts, you will begin to hear the Voice of God. You will begin to hear the voice of God. He will direct you. I say you will hear him clear. If you believe, shout. Hallelujah. 
God can speak with you because there are many voices. When devil wants you to complain, he, he works against you. You always think. You always think. You always think. You always think. You forget that your thoughts produce the results you need. From today, you must know that when you think it's not you, you have got the mind of Christ. Your thoughts, they must come to pass. Your thoughts must be the plan of the living God. If you are here today, you are not the one who is thinking. It's Christ in you, the robe of glory. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. How can you manage to reach there? It's when you remove, you clear. You remove. You remove. You have got a destiny. Devil can't stop you. You will bring another one here, another one there, but carry on. Your focus must be established. If, if you know what you are facing, don't lose focus because where you are going, no one cannot stop you. I was telling this, I said, hey, you have got zero now. What you need, seek him and all shall follow. Oh, how do you do? All these thoughts that the devil is using try to manipulate you and people are hating you. People are fighting you. People leave people. Remove those thoughts. Take he only him. In you, when is in you, there will be surprise when you are advancing, when you are moving forward. I see you moving forward. I see you moving forward. I see you moving forward. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Before you reach there, Another thing will pass in front of you. Another one pass. Another one. So that Another you must not see where you are going. When it's blurry of where you are going. They will want to give you thoughts. They want to give you thoughts. Remove those thoughts. They are like walls that devil is establishing. Remove them and see where God is taking you. After this service, you must know who you are and where you are going. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say, I want you to know who I am. I want you to know where I'm going. Remove the thoughts of the past. The thoughts of failures. The thoughts of liars. The thoughts that devil planted on you. Remove from your mind. Clear them. When you do that, you will see clear. You will see clear where God is taking you. Not what you are facing now. What you are facing is nothing compared to where God is taking you. I see God lifting you. I see God lifting you. Let your enemy, when he's giving you thoughts, and the situation you are facing, let them carry on. But look ahead where God is taking you. I see you looking where God is taking you. That's where the miracle of your life is. I see your blessing. I see the light in front of you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. When I was coming here, I heard there are some people who are facing challenges and now they don't know what to pray. The darkness around you is there to occupy your spirit. But I'm here to tell you that from today, remove everything that devil has done on you. Clear your mind. Clear your thoughts. Clear your direction. You are clearing your way. 
house. When you clear your way, I see you at your destiny. I see where God is taking you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Let me prophesy you. Those who are lying against you, they are about to be surprised of you. Those who are blocking you, they are about to see whatever you are saying coming to pass in your life. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Shakespeare was a clear your thought. When somebody come and tell you about someone, he's injecting you something to you. Don't ever think what you heard, you just heard it. It might be something to remove something that God has put on you. Maintain yourself. The state you are where God has placed you is a state where no, of no return. You don't need to fall down or go back. Don't retreat and surrender. Because I can still see God lifting you in front of your enemies. Even those who are coming to you to plant those weeds they'll be surprised you are having if you believe, shout hallelujah. Shake somebody say, clear your thoughts. You will see clear. Say, clear your thoughts. Your destiny will be clear. Clear your thoughts. 